Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by tbradley90 in the My Investing Club chat. A general reminder for those who do not know, MIC is having a one-year anniversary event where Bao is going to be trading live in front of our members. It's coming up August 17th. Mark your calendars. As an added benefit for our members, the event is 100% and exclusively free for annual and lifetime members. While lifetime, on top of that, get extra coaching before the event and guaranteed front row seating. While most charge for these events, we show our support by making it, again, free for annual and lifetime members. If you are interested in signing up for this event, DM TBradley90 in MIC Slack chat and or email myself at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. Now, we have a very special video for you guys this week as Joseph Kelly, one of our head moderators, Joe Kelly, does his Sunday weekly Trading Basics video series. And this week is episode 32, in which he's going to talk about using your data to confirm your technical analysis. And while today is just a preview of the full-length video, if you want to watch the full-length or any of our exclusive content, then become an MIC member. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, uh... We're back again for another one of these. So on Thursday, uh, that would be like July 18th, I think, 2019, me and Aloha did a webinar. In that webinar, we talked about conviction. Um, we also talked about some data tracking and how to use data to uh, help backtest or actually cut down your learning curve and when you should have faith in your data uh, and what you should use it for. It is not the... Um, Bible per se for trading. Uh, it is not the Bible for me per se for trading. Uh, it it's actually what confirms my technical levels. This is a list of top percent gainers. Uh, going all the way back from 2015, I am aware that some of these are probably not in here if they were reverse splits um, or were delisted or. Uh, just failed to become a company anymore, went bankrupt, whatever it may be, went to a foreign exchange on the OTC markets, uh, whatever it could be. So there's some flaws in this. And you also have to account for reverse splits, which you can download this file. I'll show you real quick how to do it. You're going to go to file right here. The uh, link it will be also under the video. And you go to file, you go to download as, Microsoft Excel, and it's all yours. Now, we're going to expand on this a little bit more. So, here we talked about outstanding shares, market cap, and float. So, I want to spend a little bit more time talking about how I would make use of this. So, NERV, for example, on January 6, 2015. We need to know the outstanding shares as of that date. So, we're going to open up this and we'll type outstanding in that uh, little box and it would pull up all the documents that list the word outstanding. So if you wanted to look for stuff like warrants, you just type it right there. Here's all the documents that list the word warrants. You could type at the market to find at the market offerings, everything from there. Another phrase uh, that's really common with purchase agreements and other ATMs or other shelves or, or different types of dilution they will use the words from time to time. There's my total outstanding shares. Now, and in order to get my market cap, I'm going to do a formula. Equals previous close times outstanding shares. I want to do this formula because I want the market cap prior to the run. I don't want the market cap as of the open price on the day that it's squeezing. I want it prior to the run. That way I can see what the company's market cap was prior to this in. Uh, to these inflated prices. So market cap, you can format that. I've got a little format thing in here. I use this format uh, for for float, uh, but also you can go to custom number format. You can basically do the same thing right here, but just put a dollar sign in front. And so right there is the millions. So here's billions if you want that, but here's millions. That's what I use. And you apply, and then you see how it makes it look all pretty. And then now we can go here to outstanding shares. We can also format that column to uh, custom number format. We can go to this one, which will be for our outstanding shares and also for our float. 
we're going to go back and add that right here. So now also we're going to need our float as of January 6, 2015. Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by tbradley90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T-O-S-H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.